Boy! Boy! Uh, it's happening. It is straight up happening. In uh, about a month, Infinity War will be a movie that we have all seen. And uh, I am very, very excited. Uh, so this video is going to be not not really about anything in specific about Infinity War. I just kind of want to talk about Infinity War in general. Like, am I looking forward to it? Obviously I am. I want to talk about, like, you know, maybe some theories. Uh, I want to talk about maybe some worries that I have about the movie. Yeah, just going to talk about the movie in general. So, Infinity War. Um, I guess I'll start off with things that I think will happen in the movie. So, first of all, I do think that, uh, I, I think either Captain America or Iron Man, I think they're gonna die. I think one of them, if not both. Uh, and that's mainly because, so, in Infinity War, they did the bullshit, uh, decimation ending, right? And when I say bullshit, I mean it's bullshit, not because it wasn't well done, because it was actually pretty effective in that movie, but because we all know that all those characters are coming back. And I think it's going to feel really cheap if they just bring back the characters in Endgame. Um, it's just going to feel kind of cheap if there isn't something else that happens. And I think I think the way to, to have it be most effective and not have it feel cheap that you're bringing back those characters is to kill off a major character may like sa like sacrificing themselves uh to save everybody else like i mean i trust the russo brothers i'm sure whatever they do it's gonna work out just because they've just nailed pretty much every movie that they've made in the mcu and uh yeah i just i I, I hope so, uh, they can't just bring back the characters. It can't just be uh, we bring that we bring back the characters and everything's everything's fine now. Like that. I, I mean, obviously it depends on how you do it in the movie, but just the notion of that, it it would feel cheap. I think. So I definitely think, you know, if not uh, Cap or Iron Man, at least a major character, right? Um, I, I think somebody is going to die sacrificing themselves in order to save everybody else. So, there's that. Uh, I guess another theory, another theory is that I do think that, I think it's probably going to end up being time travel. So, um, mostly because there were some set pictures a while back that kind of showed, it showed Tony, uh, Cap, and Iron Man in like these suits i don't i don't think they were the suits from the trailer i think there were other suits like time travel like well not, not necessarily time travel suits but it looked like they were on the and they looked like they were in the first avengers movie in the battle of new york and that i i mean it looked very suspicious and you could see like tony had like gray hair that kind of leads me to believe that maybe they do time travel um i don't know that's not that and that's really the only thing the only solid proof of evidence that i have it doesn't necessarily mean anything um but yeah i don't know because the thing about like i don't think they can just get the gauntlet and then use it to reset everything right because i i'm pretty sure like the gauntlet is like damaged like i don't think you can really use it anymore so i think i feel like the only thing that they really can do is go back in time and then stop thanos from doing the snap initially so yeah because the russo brothers said that the gauntlet is irreparably damaged so i don't it, it can't handle something like the snap again which is what you would need to bring everybody back using the gauntlet um, it's not, the gauntlet isn't, like, completely destroyed, though, because you, you see Thanos uses it to travel back to whatever world he comes from after he snaps. Like, he uses it after he snaps, so it's not that the gauntlet is completely destroyed, it's just that I don't think you can use it again, uh, for a really big event like the Decimation. Uh, 
So yeah, I mean, and as for other, some other theories, um, I don't know. Uh, like, do I think I? So here also. So aside from, aside from the uh, the dusted characters, I do believe that all the dusted characters will probably those are the ones that will be brought back to life. I hope that the MCU actually have some stakes and have the characters that died before the decimation stay dead. That being, I believe it was Gamora. Uh, would have been was it Gamora? Vision, and Loki. I think those are the three characters that died before the decimation. And yeah, I guess like the like Thanos' crew. Uh, I hope that they stay dead. Not because I don't like those characters, but because I just I want the MCU to have some semblance of stakes, you know? Uh, I'll probably make another video down the line about that, but I, I hope they stay dead. I, I hope. I mean, the Dusted characters are definitely coming back, right? Because... Spider-Man Homecoming, they put out a trailer before the movie. You know he's coming back. Black Panther, that man's made like a billion dollars. You know he's coming back. Doctor Strange 2, they already hired the director for Doctor Strange 2. The same one's coming back. The director for Black Panther's also coming back, so that's another thing. So, the Dusted characters, they're coming back. There's there's no way they're going to stay dead. Um, hopefully, the characters that died before the decimation, I hope they stay dead. Uh, that sounds morbid, but that's just how I feel. What would we want from me? And honestly, everything that I've been talking about so far is just like... It's like... I don't know any of it for sure. And that's what I love about this movie right now. Because the trailers haven't really revealed anything. Like, all we really know for sure is that Tony and... Uh, what's her face? Uh, Gamora's sister... I'm blanking on her name, Nebula. All we know for sure is that Tony and Nebula make it back, make it to Earth. That's really all we know, and that Captain Marvel at some point comes and meets with them. That's all we know, and I love that. And you know, that stuff that we, we knew was gonna happen, like, it's obviously Tony and Nebula were gonna come, we're gonna meet up with the Avengers. And I love that Marvel decided to do their marketing this way. I mean, we could still get another trailer that'll spoil the entire movie. Would not put it past them. But so far, I really admire the fact that their the marketing has solely been relying on us already being invested in the story. Which is crazy, because none of the trailers have had, like, huge action set pieces... They've all just been predicated on you being invested in the story. Which is pretty crazy. Um, I'm not sure how smart that is from like a commercial standpoint. Because the whole point of marketing is getting people that weren't going to go see your movie to see your movie, right? But also at the same point, like who else is left that, hasn't, that wasn't going to watch Infinity War that would have their minds changed by a trailer? I don't really know how many of those people are out there, but uh, yeah, either way, just as a fan, I love the way they've been marketing this movie. I hope they don't put out another trailer that like ruins the entire story, because I really want to walk into this movie not knowing anything about it, and just being completely surprised at every turn. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited for the movie. Uh, this video had zero structure at all. Uh, not that any of my videos really do, now that I, uh, that I think about it. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about Endgame, because it's, it might be my most anticipated movie of all time. Uh, it, it's, and my previous most anticipated movie of all time was probably, probably Batman v Superman. And, uh, we all saw how that turned out. Hopefully Endgame turns out better than that. I think it will. I mean, honestly, I... <laughs> I'm probably a bit too hyped for it. Like I, I'm worried that, like I have these such high expectations for it, and I'm worried that it might let me down a bit. Like I'm just worried that it's not going to be amazing. But at the same time, the Russo brothers did a really good job with Infinity War, and I think one of the advantages going into this movie is that there are going to be fewer characters, so it's going to allow this movie some more time to breathe. 
Because one of the things about Infinity War was that it it it, it felt stuffed. Like it felt crowded, right? Uh, hope I I'm I'm really glad that this movie is it's gonna have a bit more time to breathe. We're gonna get a bit more time with fewer characters. So I don't know, man. I'm excited about it. I don't know what the hell else I, I, want, I really want to talk about. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to wrap up the video here. Uh, yeah, if you're excited for Infinity War, just tell come, just tell me in the comments below. Uh, no, no, nobody's going to watch this video. 